Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and my name is Bree. Today we are gonna be, I don't know why I snap, but today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I got from Sephora recently and also if you're looking at my face, don't be judging because this has been on since this morning. I was running around all day sweating half of it off so and this is what we got except the lips. We did reapply the lips but gotta make it work you know all right so the first one we picked up which I did open it to smell it is the I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this hopefully you guys can see it <laughs> my throat freaking just clogged up but um this is from Sol de Janeiro and it's a really pretty kind of floral like light floral scent yes oh my god this smells so good um very light and floral but um their creams are really nice because this helps with elasticity and like tightening so that's why I really do love their creams I have like a big one of the original as well as the blue one too I do like that one but yeah floral super excited to try this one also new setup this is kind of what I'm rolling with right now um I know you can see you know the whole setup you can see the shebang this and that but um let me know what you guys think of this setup is it distracting is it okay is it cool cool all right but we also picked up this Bomb Dia Bright Cream. This is from Sol de Janeiro as well. Yeah. But I haven't opened it. So we're going to pop this bad boy open if I could get it. Oh, I totally forgot. I have... Oh, hold on. Yeah, that was good. Um, I totally forgot. I have like a whole whopping four or five nails on right now. On both hands. Um, currently taking off the nails that my mom did for me. They were starting to come off and I just wanted something new. So I think I'm going to throw on some of my Kiss nails. Love Kiss nails. Um, I really want to try Glamnetic too because I, I've tried their lashes but I have not tried their nails. So that's on my list to try. But I love it. You can literally change your nails. Like realistically probably once twice a week if you wanted to but mine stay on for a couple weeks with that so but anyways let's smell this bad boy oh my gosh dude what is this smell oh it just smells so freaking good i swear they come up with the best scents they really do like Hold on. I got their Soul Shirosa 62. That's probably not how you pronounce it, but beautiful packaging. We got the disco ball up top, you know, super fun. I'm going to throw some on because why not? This stuff, oh my, I don't even know the notes of the scent, but it's just, it's just summer in a bottle. So good. So this cream, I'm trying to see if this has any of the notes, the scents. Now just a retexturizing body cream. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do the same thing. Um, it says it reveals healthier, smoother, brighter looking skin. So that's always great. But I'm trying to think what I could like explain this scent as. This one almost smells a little on the musky side. I don't know if it's like, um, it's like a sweet musk scent to me at least, but it smells really freaking good. So I'm excited for this one. The, flor the floral, like the light pink one smells bomb, but this is going to be nice kind of, I think I'm going to use this for like date night. So I also stocked up on my Palmade. This is from Benefit. Um, I love this stuff. So they reformulated this whole thing. This is a new product, but they came out with a new one. I like this one better than their last brow product because it was just super chunky almost and it dried up really easily. Um, I really really like this one because as you can see it has this really cool plastic piece here so any excess or whatnot you're not dusting it off on the lid and it getting encrusted in you know the packaging and whatnot you can dust it off right there and you got it for later so that saves you know uh, product and everything so really really love that but the formula of this Palmade is really really good. So try this out. I did um, I have the brush that goes with it as well so good. All right. So I also picked this up. I have not tried it yet. I did open the box because I was trying to like organize and just, you know, throw out shit, get rid of stuff. But um, this is 
Rare Beauties Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. Yes, we want that sunscreen. So, I don't even know. Oh, it twists. Cool. But this is just what the packaging looks like. And this is Selena's brand, in case you are not familiar. And I just, like, did I get this in store or did I get it online? I can't remember. I think... Yeah, because this is spot on match. This is a spot on match. Match. There's my accent coming out. But, um, yeah, so I definitely color matched myself in store. But this is going to be nice. It seems like it covered, like, a decent amount of the redness on my hand and smoothed my pores a good amount. So we're going to try it. I've heard good things about this. Um, so this is the Rare Beauty Positive and Light Tinted Moisturizer. So I also got this item. Oh, that's so cool. So you can pull it there to come out. That's really neat. Um, anyways, this is the item Blushing Like. It's a cream blush and it's verified. Love cream blushes. They're what's, you know, popping right now. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a nice gradient effect. Just has the item logo on the front. Oh, this is what the blush looks like. I don't even... I don't even remember getting this. Like, I don't remember this consistency. Interesting. Okay. So it almost reminds me of like a powder cream. Now that's definitely cream, but maybe there's a bit of powder formula. I'm not sure. That's pretty though. I like that shade. Blending out nicely on my hand. So she's going on the vanity. We're trying her next. We also picked up two of the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tints blush sticks. So we got Proud Pink and we also got Perky Peach. Cute. I love the Perky Peach name. So let's pop one open. All right. So here are the packaging for the Huda Beauty Perky Peach Cheeky Tint as well as Proud Pink. So I'm a peach girl. I always go for more muted like peach tones, but then I also like to spice it up and throw on some color. So I had to get one of each. Um, I've never tried this formula. Does it have a brush? No. Okay, cool. Um, but I tested it in the store and it looks really nice. So that's even creamier than the item blush. Both really pretty, but different consistencies. I feel like this one's definitely more of a dewy blush this blush stick um it's pretty it has like almost a gold sheen to it as well but that's super nice okay so next is the proud pink oh this is beautiful it's not gonna probably show up on camera or it might but it's a really pretty sheen like rosy sheen pink almost orangey sheen to it like sparkles beautiful wow i think i like that shade more that's so pretty definitely has like that pinky peachy shift to it so I feel like that's going to be a really pretty summer blush. I also picked up the Urban Decay Stay Naked Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Gel Hydrator. Tinted Glow Hydrator not gel glow. And this says medium coverage up to 24 hours wear kombucha. I can never say that name. Um, filtrate and marula oil. Oh, so that's good. So that's very hydrating. I'm more dry, dry skin prone, so this is going to be good. I've heard mixed reviews on this. I've heard good. I've heard bad. Um, I've wanted to try it since it came out, I think, like last summer. So I picked this up. It says up to 24-hour hydration, lasting all-day moisture, up to 24-hour glow, 24-hour wear. The kombucha filtrate and marula oil that I mentioned and a vegan formula so that's cool and I got it in shade light medium and then I got it in, in light too I already opened that one so it's somewhere in my room but yeah so this is the packaging really cool this is my favorite color um like the blues and greens so really like my eyes were like what is this as soon as it came out but yeah I've heard really good things about this and I actually did I believe I tried the light shade once and I remember liking it. So I have to try it again because I don't remember, like, you know, my thoughts completely on that. So we're going to have to, just putting so much on my hand, we're going to have to try it out. Yeah, this is definitely a little darker for when I self-tan. But yeah, that, I feel like that's going to be a nice moisturizer too. I remember liking this. Um, it was definitely hydrating, didn't settle into lines, things like that. So I'm going to put that up there so I remember to try that out. All right, so I I opened these last night. I opened them out of the package. Did not swatch them, I promise. But they're beautiful. 
we picked up a bunch of the, I don't want to mispronounce this, Danessa Myricks Beauty. I've been eyeing her, her products probably for months now. And I was like, I gotta get some. So we picked up a bunch of these like glitter, I don't know the name, like what the name of these are, but a bunch of different like glitter pots. Um, this one's a really pretty like duochrome. There's every color you can think of. Not really, but there's like green, purple, blue in there. Um, this is called Lightning Bolt. So that's a gorgeous shade. And I feel like, cause I was, I think I was gonna open it last night. And yeah, so it's double like, yeah, I feel like this is gonna get everywhere, but we have to swatch this. I've been dying to. Yes, yeah, so it's like a gel. Okay, cool, so that's cool. I totally forgot it's like a gel consistency. So that is awesome. But I've seen this, like I watch her videos on Instagram all the time. Her products are beautiful. These look stunning on the lids. So I've been dying to get these on my lids. And I can already tell this is gonna be one of my favorites. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Oh, it's so pretty, it's just so much dimension and I feel like it's just gonna really make the eyes pop. And I don't know if you guys can tell I'm a little shaky, I'm very dehydrated, always. And I'm also adjusting to new medications. So it's been a struggle lately, but you gotta deal with what you were dealt. So could always be worse, making the best out of it. Um, but next up is Sweet Tooth. This is a beautiful, soft, pinky shade. I can see a little bit of a pale blue in there too. So that's pretty, yeah, see there's like double, so this is secure. I guess they don't want it to get all over you, which that's always a plus. Um, yeah, so let's see, if this wants to come off. My one acrylic nail that I cut down, it's like struggling. All right, so maybe that was part of that and it's just, I have no idea, but let's swatch this one. Wow. Yeah, this, this one, Sweet Tooth, reminds me of like a unicorn fairy, princess, everything else you can think of. That's what that reminds me of. And I want to wear that with my pink wig because I feel like that'll look so freaking pretty. So thank you, Danessa, for coming out with this beautiful line of products because I'm digging it. My hair is everywhere. All right, so next, this is the other one. This is strobe light. Gorgeous. This is a really pretty iridescent. So this has pretty much every color under the sun in the rainbow. You know what I mean? This is a really, really pretty soft kind of yellowy. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. It's a really pretty soft yellow and it has, yes, that blue and pink. Oh my goodness. This is going to look so good in so many different lights, especially like the natural light. I'm going to have to play around with these and maybe do a look. If you guys are interested, let me know. I would love to play around with all of these, even doing like a quick eye, just testing them out so you guys can see like what they look like. But gorgeous. So God, this shade, this is Superstar. Uh, this is definitely a summer shade. This is, it has purple, orange, yellow, gold. This just reminds me of like a sunset, like a tropical sunset somewhere. And I, I love this. I want to get like a matching dress to go with this. Yeah, these are freaking stunning. So I feel like these would look really pretty by themselves. Or you could just pop these over different colors on your lid. Um, eye primers, you know, different colored bases. This could look really cool. Black, these, this is probably going to look awesome on top of. So I'm gonna put these right on my vanity so I know to try them out and play with them soon. Also picked up another product from her. So this is her Twin Flames Multi-Chrome Pigment for Eyes and Face. And it's called Olivine. So that's really cool. So it's obviously like an olive green color, but it, it's duochrome. So it has like orange and yeah, it looks like orange, purple in there, red. This I feel like it's gonna look really good. Yes. I need to get more of this formula too. This is really pretty. This is the only one that I picked up, but that is pigmented. So that's going to look gorgeous. Oh, I kind of want to do like a nice black smoky look with this in the lid. Yeah. We kind of mushed them all together and that looks kind of fun. Why not? <laughs> all right. I tried to get most of the glitter off, but we're going to have glitter for days. Um, I have stars literally everywhere. I did a star look, I think like a week ago and stars just everywhere, but I knew that was going to happen. 
so next we picked up the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. It says, a moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable, cake-free coverage. Um, I have heard good things about this. I've heard good things about pretty much all of her products. I know her blushes right now, everybody's trying to get and they can't. Um, I have like one or two of her blushes too. They're really good. But yeah, oh, she light. I don't know. She might be a little too light. I don't know. I feel like, is this one that I swatched in store? I mean, I know I like to usually go a little lighter on the under eye area, but. Blend it in with my skin. So maybe she's not light enough. I don't know. But yeah, it, it seems like a nice consistency. Blended nicely. Um, I love, I'm a big fan of the Tarte Shape Tape. The creamy one, especially now that that's out is my fave. Um, so I'm interested to try this and see how this compares and just how the formula is. So I also use my points. Um, this is the Nest Golden Nectar or Nectar. Um, I love this stuff. It's really, really, I haven't used it in a long time. Yeah, it's like a musky vanilla scent. Mm. Yeah, that's strong. So you need a little bit of this, but yeah, I wonder if it, I don't know, it probably doesn't have the notes on here. Nah, but packaging is super cute. They always have really cute packaging. I love that. So this will be really good for travel, a nice night out. And the last item that I picked up is this Tom Ford Soleil Blanc um, in gold. This is the shimmering body oil. I'm trying to see if I can get this open. I mean, it's Tom Ford. Like, come on. It's got to be good. But this product's been out for like a minute, so I'm just late on this, but it's okay. Oh, we got the really pretty gold packaging. Bam! Some glitter, baby! Gotta shake it. So this is the Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil in Glow, or no, Gold. So let's try a little bit on. I think it really needs to be mixed because it looks like it was separated a little bit, but let's see. Let's see. It smells good. So this smells really good. It's a really nice fragrance, um, kind of on the spicy side. So if you like spicy scents, then that could be for you. This I'm going to wear probably towards summer, um, lounging by the pool, you know, going out and stuff. Um, it's very light, not too sparkly. Like I love sparkles, um, but this is a nice kind of subtle glow gold um, oil for summer. Also, I did not pick this up myself. I got this in PR, but this is the Gucci Broom de Butte. This is the Glow Hydrating Mist Prep, Set, and Refresh. Um, love the packaging. I did photograph this. I had to because I just, I love packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. Went to school for graphic design, fashion marketing, all kinds of stuff, but I've always loved like the creative like packaging side. Um, so yeah, beautiful work, of course. Um, and I did use this today and my face stayed on pretty well and I was in a place that didn't have air conditioning so I was sweating a little bit and it's still on so Gucci so far so good but yeah that is everything let me know what you guys have picked up recently like what's new what you're loving I feel another haul coming soon so let me know what I should pick up Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.